guys and welcome back to Duster Butts. Hey, what's up folks? I'm Marcos. Got a pretty big job today, so I got my buddy Ori here helping me out. Uh, extra set of hands. And what we're looking at doing today is pulling the fender off of this thing. So um, for one reason, I'm still working on some, some body cleanup, so we want to do that. I want to get inside and clean that area out. Also, as you can see here, the, um, what do they call it, the apron uh, has a few rust spots, so we're going to want to get to that. Uh, but we already pulled off the other side and uh, it was a little bit hairy on uh, some of it. So I wanted to make this quick video explaining uh, on our 74 duster here. Uh, I assume it's on the same on a lot of these A-bodies. Uh, but just a quick video showing how to pull this fender off. And if uh, if you have any, the last bolt we'll do is a little tricky to get to. So if you got a better way to do it than I do, um, by all means, please leave a comment uh, in the comment section below. So thanks for watching today. Ori, thanks for your help today. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't yet. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. So two things we're gonna need. We're gonna need a half inch and a 7 16 inch sockets. And I'm gonna be starting with it on my, uh, on my driver here. And then uh, we're gonna to have to switch to a ratchet halfway through. So we got a total of 15 fasteners to do. And you'll definitely wanna keep track of these. So I got a little uh, plastic bin here with all the fender parts uh, that we're gonna be doing. So with that, let's get started. So first we got one, two, three, four, five, six half inch bolts along the top. Let's go ahead and pop those real quick. And six. I'm also going to go ahead and just loosen up on the other side of the support bolt. I'm going to leave it in, but I want to loosen it up just so I can swing the bar out of the way. Oh, it's too loud. It is pretty loud. One, two, three. Four. Five. And, 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 and lastly, six. All right. Six down. Now, inside, there's two more right in here. That was really loud. All right. Seven and eight. Hold that for me, would you, buddy? Yes, I do. Uh, I want to pick those up before I lose them. Whoa. All right, so that's eight down. We got two more easy half inch ones down here. Do me a favor, hop down from there, buddy. And right down here. And these are gonna have some spacers in here, so we're gonna wanna make sure that we uh, we capture all those spacers. Maybe we could become. And we're gonna wanna use those again. Oh, so we'll put these in our little, our little bucket over here. All right, now we are going to switch to our 7 16 7 Now, yep, 7 16 now, the, uh, there's two on this, uh, I don't know what it's called, but the, the crossbar here, this part of the uh, grill, we got two bolts. All right, there we go. So we are now 12 fasteners down. Well, a couple more to go. Can I get in the chair? Uh, yeah. Sitting? Next, 
we're gonna I'm gonna take my 716 yeah you can take the chair I'm gonna swap it on my, on my driver cuz I got two easy ones all right right inside the door here sorry not inside the door right inside the fender well wheel well And you can see a lot of the crap starting to fall out. It's a bunch of junk in there, so. Yeah, a bunch of junk. Good reason to clean it out. All right, now, right in here, the support to the, the bumper mount. We're gonna get that one right here. That's 14. Now, if you uh, should, should be able to start wiggling. Now, the last one is uh, is no fun at all. It's no fun at all. It's no fun at all. Can I go inside? What? You don't want to help out with the last one? No, I want to help out. You said you do or don't? I do. All right, cool, because we're going to need you, buddy. Yes. All right. This last one, this final one is inside, it's basically right underneath here. Underneath. And uh, you see a, see a bolt sticking down with a nut on it. And uh, that's what we have to do. We have to get to that. And it's a real bear to get in there. So I recommend this uh so i'm using a, a 3 8 drive ratchet extension and a half inch um yeah yeah half inch now on the ratchet i have uh two different ratchets the other one couldn't really get it well this one has a very i don't i don't know what the right term for it but the number of degrees that it takes to click over on the uh, the clutch on this ratchet is uh, it's a very short uh, very short cycle so uh, this one works much better so if you happen to have one that does turn over uh, at a at a faster rate you definitely want to use that one now the fun part all right here you go chief do me a favor hang out there on the bucket for a minute yeah. uh, uh, that, I gotta hang out on the bucket all right so uh, there's uh there's really no good way to show this so uh i'm gonna hand the camera off to my helper ori here and i'm gonna do my best to get this thing open now to be honest i cheated a little bit and i i broke it loose earlier just because i didn't know how long it was going to take and i ended up having to use a uh, a little cheater bar here to get it started cheater now bar. i did get it started already so it shouldn't be as bad Well, it looks like we missed one. This uh, little fastener up there, kind of hard to see. Looks like a 3 8 um, I'll have to clean that up a little bit. Looks like it's uh, going into that side mount. I don't remember that one from the other side, but let's see if we can pull that out and uh, Thank you see if that frees us up. All right, All right. so we got it out. Now what we were held up on, it's actually right here. And uh, that connects to this shrouding here. So 16 fasteners, uh, not 15. And that one is a uh, 7 16 um, size to remove that one. And you can see here that this, uh, this is what was dropped in here, and, uh, and that's really the, the tough part, is getting that one out. 
One of the other reasons I wanted to get in here was to take a better look at the uh, the hood mounts. So uh, these you uh, you cannot move them by hand, but when you have the uh, the big uh, big hood on there with all the weight from the steel hood, um, you know there, it's not too too bad to open and close, and it does a really good job at, at keeping it open. So that's nice. But eventually, I would like to uh, maybe go to a fiberglass hood just to to save on weight since it is such a such a heavy hood. Um, so I wanted to take a look at this and uh, and see what it's going to be for later. And from what I can tell, reading online, um, depending on if you buy or make something, um, you can still use these same mounts. Uh, but this spring is what you got to change out. So. And to take this off, I did take it out on the other side. There's just a couple washers here. I'm um, sorry, here. You need to, to pull the whole mount. You got to pull off this washer here. And the same type of washer up here on top. And then the whole assembly will come out. And then this one here would be if you want to take the spring out, which uh, right now, I'm not going to mess with that. So that's, uh, that's it. So we wanted to take our fender off. And, uh, and we got that done. So 16 fasteners um one pain in the butt one one that uh, we forgot and had to get and uh and that's it so now that we have that off um we can clean all this up i'm gonna pull this apron off um we're, we're gonna do that another day but i'm gonna pull this apron off and try to patch this area here um paint up everything and uh and pull the suspension off and having these uh, fenders off gives me a little bit more access for doing the suspension rebuild. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, folks. Have a nice day. We'll see you next time.